we have a great question in the group today from Kurt. Uh, video suggestion, saving a project in a specific folder, the ins and outs of saving and opening projects. That really, really is a very, very excellent question and it is fundamental to success if you're creating videos because organization or lack of organization uh, is going to impact your time. And when if you get disorganized with your video assets, you will go crazy. I know that I have spent a lot of time looking for things, trying to find things, trying to find where I where I store things, and uh, you know, coming up with a plan to organize videos is something that has evolved over time. So let me make a couple of suggestions about how to get started. First of all, is you know, take a you know, think about what you're actually doing and how many videos you're likely to be creating in the course of the next uh, six or 12 months. If you're going to be creating, you know, 50 videos or less over the next six months, you really only need one major file. And I'll let, let me show you what I do. I would suggest that the first thing you do is pick out a place on your hard drive uh, where you're going to store everything. Uh, you may want to store it in a documents folder or on your Dropbox or in OneDrive or someplace else. I'm going to, for, you know, for the sake of this uh, a video, for our purposes here, I'm going to create a new uh, repository in Dropbox. I'm going to go into my Dropbox and I'm going to create a new folder and I am going to call it uh, Video Projects. I'm going to call it sample because I already have my folder set up that I want to just call it. So give your, pro give your folder a name and then open your folder. Um, if you have clients and you have a client list, you may want to have a client folder. Inside of the client folder, you may have client names. Client A. Client B. All right. I'm going to go back here. You may have a folder for um, tutorial videos, if you make tutorial videos, all right? And then you can list them there. You may have a folder for video memes. Okay, so you get the idea. You've got a ma main folder video project sample, and then you have additional folders and subfolders right there. So that's a place where you can store your assets, store your projects, and store your video. So let's go over to Explaindio now, and let's start a new project. So we're going to create a project now. Uh, we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it uh, Client, how about Client A? And we're working on a proposal for Client A, and we're going to create that. Now you see it doesn't go directly to that folder, actually. It, goes to you know another place so the first thing I'm going to do before I really commence work is I'm going to save this as and I'm see this I'm going to save this as I'm going to go back to my Dropbox I'm going to go to my video project sample folder again and I'm going to go to client a and I'm going to save it in this folder I'm going to give it a name I'm going to call it a proposal right and say that. So now I'll get to work on the folder. I'm going to add some scenes. I'll, uh, you know, I'll add some slides, yada, yada. Let's see, I'm going to, um, just for the heck of it, I'll just add a slide here. I'll add that. And I will add some more slides. and I can add as many slides as I want. Um, ultimately, I will be saving it again. I'll be saving it. I'll also save it as a zip here. And that will save it in that folder I created already. Um, if I want to create a video, uh, why don't I do that right now? I'll create a video from this. Um, And you see automatically this will go to a path called video exports. 
what I would do if I want to keep everything together I will right, send that right here I will I will select that folder I will select the uh, the size and I will start the export of that fold of that uh, of the actual video so again this was a real real rough and dirty but then let me show you what that looks like when we have the file set up because then that file is in in that uh, location you know somewhat permanently and it will always be easy to find all of the assets so this will just take a moment um, and just uh, for the heck of it here I am saving this as a video 1920 by 1080 that's high definition I am creating all of my videos now using those dimensions that is the highest definition uh, type of video you can create with explain video I've selected perfect quality and fastest export speed you see here if you like and if you of course if you're creating a proposal for a client you may or may not want to use a watermark that's a great thing to be able to do and we're going to have a video on exactly how to do that very very soon um, it's writing to the to the frames right now so I'm going to pause this and then I'll come back when this is finished okay that's done so if I open the video folder here as you can see we have all of these assets in client in you know client a folder so we've got our video here and then we've got our um, explain to you files these are the project files and then we have the assets so each slide has a collection of assets and they are right there all right so if we go here and we want to open that again we will move over to that folder and we will open that what I'll do right now is I will close out explain to you and then we'll come back and we'll open it and I'll show you how that works here we are back I have just reloaded explain to you because I want to show you again how we can open an existing project and uh, and one that we have already created so I'm going to go to open project now th my my computer browser is right you know used to finding this here because this was the last place I was I'll click on the explain to you file here open that and that will give me everything that I had in the folder already so I can continue to work on this I can save it again I can save it as the uh, you know and it will continue to update if I want to save this you know and do a different version and have this version and the last version instead of hitting save I'll hit save as and I'll give it a new name so if the first one was called proposal I may want to call this one proposal 2 if I want to have both versions on my on my system so that's how we open you know, create a new folder and and organize that